Sup and good day, gamers. Aim Formal Bust here with Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. But first, we have our sponsor H2O. Agua. Drink it up or die. Mmm. Now let's get into this first impression of Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, as I said. As I close up my water bottle that make, you know, spillages. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 was released back in January of 2019, developed by Tendalos Interactive, and published by Focus Entertainment. Described on Steam as Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 is a is the new real-time strategy game adapted from Gaming Workshop's famous tabletop game that portrays the epic space battles of the Warhammer. 40,000 universe. Its tags on Steam are strategy, Warhammer 40k, I would hope so, uh, space RTS, and sci-fi. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 retails on the Steam store for 19.99 United States dollars, and there is also DLC for the Chaos Campaign, which runs you a uh, additional 9.99 United States dollars. So, and there's a soundtrack, but, I mean, some people get that, some people don't. It's not, uh, I would say, I mean, if you play the game, you get the soundtrack in the game, just not separate. So, this menu looks pretty, I have played, I remember somewhat playing Battlefleet Gothic Armada, the original one. Um, it, yeah, this is very, very similar to that menu. Uh, got continue campaign, which I can't do, don't have a safe campaign. New campaign, load campaign, yep, that, that that's where it would be. Um, yep, go back, uh, frustratingly escape. Uh, <laughs> you have to press the actual back button on screen, which is somewhat frustrating, but that's fine. Now battles, this is the whole battle system. Um, kind of, it's just a one-time thing. You can set up what kind of battle you're doing, you got your settings and everything, that's all fine and dandy. I'm not gonna do it, but you can see just from this without the campaign, you get plenty of content here. You get access to all of these different fleets. <laughs> and all these fleets have sub-factions, which I know for the Imperial Navy, at least, the sub-factions kinda just change the look of your fleet. It's more lore-wise. Um, and you have some sub uh, some factions that are on the same side, like Adeptus Mechanicus and Adeptus Astartes, along with the Imperial Navy. Um, so that's enough of this. This is kind of cool. You can select upgrades and all this different stuff. Nice to see. Very customizable in the battle mode. Uh, leaderboard, if you're interested. <laughs> I'm sure there's not, you know, a meta to this game or anything. Options. Okay. Uh, subtitles, yes. Display grid, yes. Advanced view. Uh, advanced view by default. Uh, I'm going to leave that off. Uh, skip the AI's turns. Camera speed. Mission type. I don't know what this... I know, I I remember these sort of, like domination, you have to control points, cruiser clash, you literally just, I think, fight. I don't know what that, what this affects. I don't know if this affects the campaign or not, so I want to turn it on just to see if it affects the campaign. Um, I know it affects, I don't know if it affects the battles or campaign or both, so we're going to test that. Uh, can find mouse cursor, that's very nice. I don't get my mouse slipping off, very, very nice. Invert y-axis, no thank you. Video. This is okay. They could have done more. Um, we're in. Why am I custom? I thought I was epic. Oh, I know why. I know why. Yes, 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 yes. Cause turn off that dirty lens flares. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. That's why I'm custom. Uh, resolution scale, resolution auto detects. They could have had more resolutions, but it's fine. They have, I think, yeah, four by three, sixteen. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they got 16x9, 16x10s, and 4x3, so that's the major ones as far as aspect ratio. You have the very bare bones on this menu, which is fine. It's fine, I guess. Um, we'll see how it runs. I'm in the main menu at 60 FPS on Epic, so we'll see. View distance, for some reason, I can't mess with. Um, I think it's just because I don't have it turned on, so I think if you turn it, yep, turn it on, you can use it, but we're going to leave it at 100%, I assume. Actually, no, let's turn it on and leave it at 100%. See what it does. And you can, of course, auto detect your resolution. This is okay in a menu. Could have had more. Audio, very bare bones. General music, sound effects, voices. Okay. 
Controls, if you want to rebind everything, have fun. <laughs> I sort of remember the controls, so I'm gonna kinda... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is very much in multiplayer, you want to memorize these key bindings, but... I probably won't. <laughs> Alright, enough of me yammering about the main menu and my history with Battlefleet Gothic Armada, the uh, original game. Let's get into a new campaign. Using the behavior panel, you can decide which side to show the enemy. If your weapons are disabled, starboard. Show them your port weaponry. Oh, sorry. Just mic bump. It's it's fine. Oh, okay. So there's a prologue. Imperium. Necron. Oh, okay. I can... Uh, okay, so this does affect. So I'm going to leave it on Cruiser Clash, because if I recall, I did not like Domination. Tyranids. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> so you get four campaigns to, sorry, three campaigns to start with a prologue of the Imperial Navy, I assume. Yeah, of the Imperial Navy. And if you want to play Chaos, yeah, go ahead and pay for that. Um, yeah, that's cool. Necron and Tyranids, pretty cool to see. We're going to go with the prologue then. Uh, the planet of Cadia is cornerstone of the Imperium's defense and a symbol of mankind's endurance, but after millennia of stalwart defiance, Cadia is beset as never before, besieged by the corrupted legions of chaos, while Lord Castellian, oh god, Ursacar E. Creed marshals the planet's uh, planet-side defense, reinforcements from across the galaxy scramble to his aid. Cadia stands, but for how long? Prologue also acts as an in-battle tutorial to help you learn the ropes of the handling ship. Let's do that! <laughs> See what all's changed. Oh, cutscene. Okay. For 10,000 years, the Eye of Terror has spewed its ageless horrors into the galaxy, gnawing at the eternal glories of the Imperium, at the very soul of mankind itself. And for every one of those 10,000 years, the fortress world of Cadia has held the gate closed. An adamantium bastion, granted strength by flesh and bone, and seeded purpose by faith in the Emperor's holy life. But as the darkness grew ever deeper, and the blaze of the Astronomicon guttered like a wind-blown candle, The Eye of Terror pulsed, its baleful energy spilling anew across the stars. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. With a shriek that echoed through nightmares from Medusa to Ultramar, the Black Fleet slipped its moorings. An endless tide of heretics, traitors, demons, and madmen, whose desperate fealty was given over to a single damned soul. Abaddon the Despoiler, inheritor of the arch-traitor Horus's reviled legacy. The 13th Black Crusade, herald to a fresh age of nightmare, had begun. Stalwart Cadia would be the first to feel its wrath. A Blackstone Fortress! Without our shields, that accursed Hulk will scour Cadia clean. Repairs to the Null Array are underway. We require only a matter of days. The Magos asks for time. I have none to give. My wolves will buy all that he needs. Alert my battle barge to prepare for my arrival. By the fang, I'll not die without a fight. Okay, interesting how they're doing the <laughs> speaking. I like the painting kind of art style, but the uh, making the lips moves a little much. <laughs> kind of uncanny valley. Remain vigilant. Celestial bodies can deal great amount of damage to your fleets. Be prepared to dodge them at all costs. Moreover, no one... Knows what lurks in the deep and unfathomable space. Yeah, if I recall, load screens were a bit of a thing in the prior 
version. Although, okay, yep, there we are. Yep. Protocol, my lord. Awaiting structural diagnostic. Objective scroll. Okay, very simple. Structural analysis complete. No major issues to report. We stand ready for weapons inspection. Okay, holding center. Okay, rotate. All right. All weapon systems functional. Beginning tactical aspect sweep. And okay. Okay, WASD moves me around. Awesome. Okay, very good tutorial so far. Focus the camera on the asteroid field. Astro asteroids. Aspect sweep complete. Okay, yep, mini map. That's gonna be very helpful. Ooh, suck my ship. Okay, cool. So you kind of have your ranges again. Engines engaged. Oh, this is much more simplified down here. What is this? Flagship. Okay, no casualties. Oh, can I? That's right, y'all. What's taking so long? War calls. Enough with the tinkering. If I believe. Oh, it won't let me. At last. Crew of the Fireman's Fang. The despoiler's jaws clamp tight about Cadia's throat. His Blackstone Fortress comes to claim the kill. I say nay. Not while the sons of Roos have strength to fight. The Valiant Dead will shield us from the Black Fleet's curse. We will stalk the will of eternity from amongst the carcasses of its victims. When our fangs are in its belly, we strike with every boarding torpedo and assault craft at our disposal. We will cripple that Blackstone Fortress however we can. Oh, a lot of mines. Shields, engines, all Father willing, we will tear out its corrupted heart. The Blackstone Fortress is so close I can smell it. We'll have to cross that minefield to reach it. Take us through, Captain. Moving to position. Oh man, a lot of mines. Underway. Okay, so my long range is like what I can see, I guess, and then my close range is my other stuff. Needed. Like I can detect, I guess, mines and other hidden stuff. Man, this ship's got a lot. What? What was that? Oh! Pursued, but grander prey awaits. We cannot waste time in fruitless battle. Press okay. on. We'll return once the Blackstone Fortress is a broken hulk. Hold course. Oh gosh, this is... Oh, my shields are fine. Um, Can I do... I had special orders. Where were the special orders? Oh gosh. Oh, this is going... I'm sure it's fine. Stances, yes. Let me do brace for impact. Oh, size. They're gaining. Contact Cajun Orbital Command. Tell them to detonate the mines. That explosion should clean our tails of these traitors. Hi, my lord. Okay. It's fine. Oh, okay. All full ahead. Now I can do that. There we go. At your command. Yep. All full ahead. It's fine. All right. And back to standard movement. <laughs> I'm cool with the mines blowing up. It's fine. Oh no 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 no! All specs to show what traitor vessel survived the explosion. It has launched a disruption bomb. It'll obliterate our shields. All sections, prepare for high energy turn. Helm, get us clear of the detonation horizon and bring us about to engage that spineless car. Oh okay. So yeah, you can do cool turns like this. This is the fun part of in-game combat. Do these cool turns, get me out of there, and full speed ahead, get me really out of there. And yep. so the traitor longs for death. Bring us in close. I want to smell his fear. Burn retro makes me stop. Yeah, energy cost. I know that. And can I? Okay, I can't slow down yet. Right. Oh, he's a small puppy. 
before we seek their throat. Okay. His shield falls. Shield falls. It's good. Feel our might. <laughs> okay, yeah. And you can yeah, damage parts of the engines. Although I want to not have him at my backside, so Oh yeah. There we go. Standard speed engaged. It will be destroyed. Mm, can I not do No, I can't do any it won't let me do any of my special actions. Okay. Shield, armor, I know all that. Crit damage. His fine's gone. We'll settle this with our teeth at his throat. There, okay. So lightning strike. This does ship launch three assault actions against the target. Okay, so yep. See how his strength fails. The kill okay. comes soon. Oh, okay, so transfer, lightning, wheels. and boarding all do the same. Okay. This is weird, because these torpedoes... Oh, they're boring torpedoes, so they're not just straight ahead. Alright, that makes sense. Critical damage. Main batteries fire! Our boarding torpedoes destroyed by turret fire! So mm. the traitor still has claws! Bring us in closer! I'll end this myself! Obliterate that target! Okay, yeah, I gotta get up and close. So, let's do this. So we can get close to him. Our hunt is ended. Let the carcass drift. Oh, Bring so all, all, all their troops died. So, Standard yeah. If all their troops die, the ship is just a drifting hulk. And I believe you can take it over or they can... I believe there's a whole thing with, like, taking over the ship once they've Underway. been destroyed. I know most of you are not Fenris born, but today it matters not if you feel the fury of Rus in your veins. It matters not if you hail from Fenris, Mundus Pyra, Kaja, or Marsh. Today we are brothers, bound by one single glorious purpose. We ride into death with the fury of heroes, and by our sacrifice, strike a blow worthy of saga and song. For the Emperor, for Kaidia. Death to the traitors! The moment arrives! Let the engines roar! My lord, we have located an Imperial warship. It's drifting, and the okay. are not responding. However, more specs is shown that the vessel itself remains viable. We'll claim the vessel as our own. Reinforcements run thin, and even one ship may yet make a difference. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I thought. You can take over ships. Perfect. Um, so I can do a boarding action, or... Tra oh, transfer troop I can do infinitely, so... One troop's from one friendly ship to another. Let's do that. Oh, well, they only have one. That's not great. It'll be fine. Our boarding parties have seized command of the derelict. They report critical damage to weapons control. It won't be of any use to us. Still, it shall not go to waste. Evacuate the ship to Kaja. Its fury will be hard in days to come. Okay. So I can... Oh. No, yeah, emergency warp drum. That's what you'll do. Good thing I only wasted one troop on you then. Moving to position. Oh yeah, that damage. Oh yeah, you can't even... I don't even think it has turret or uh, macro cannons. It's really taking a beating. Ooh, holding alts. Yeah, that's what I like. See the borders of stuff. Warp risk. Disengaging ship allows you to prevent it from destruction in battle. However, performing warp jump is risky. The ship may suffer damage or even be destroyed. So... Alright, so... Enemy vessels on approach. Oh, of course we do. Where are they? Hold course! 
This will be fine. It'll be fine. Only taking a little damage so far. It oh! Be Small fries, baby. Small fries. Right now, since I have shields... Well, your shields are, I believe, damage doesn't really matter too much. Because not a lot of stuff gets through your shields. Once your shields are down, though, you're kind of SOL as far as damage negation. I don't think we'll have enough, but it's fine. Engines engaged. Mm, see, I don't want to waste these on these small fries because my macro can should be able to take them out. Oh, fine. We'll do one. <laughs> yeah, they can still mutiny. Oh yeah, that's right. If you fully run out of your maneuvering points, you have to wait for it to fully recharge, which is a bit annoying, but... Yeah, that's ain't great. Alright. Drifting Hulk, good. Just kill them, then. Mm. Yeah, this game looks great. <laughs> uh, and this is... What what kind of ship are you? Battleship? Oh, it's a battleship, so quite large, actually. Initiate targeting protocol. Feel our might. Just attack them. They're a drifting hulk. They mean you no threat. Standard speed engaged. Fire. My shields are on this back, but so are theirs. Okay. They got one troop left. There we go. Okay. Repositioning. They did. Pitiful whelps. Ten thousand years of hate, and still feeble at heart. Bring us about. The Blackstone Fortress awaits. My lord, all specs have detected a colossal signature at extreme range. It must be the Blackstone Fortress. It's on an inbound heading. Good. We'll wait an ambush. Bring us about into that asteroid field and cut the drive. Make us look like one more drifting hulk. Okay, don't asteroid fields... Ship moving their asteroid field suffers six damage per second. Squadron appears do not suffer any damage as long as it remains in the field. It is stealth unless it is scanned by an enemy or it opens fire. Ship targeting a vessel. Okay, so you take damage whenever you move, but enemies so targeting you or have a harder time targeting you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, gas clouds, I believe, do the same thing. Let's see. We got one over here. As long as your ship is located in gas cloud, it is stealth unless it is scanned by an enemy or opens fire. Okay, so you only get stealth in there. It's not like uh, asteroid fields where the enemy takes a uh, penalty to uh, hit you. So, okay, makes some sense. I just want to barely get in here. I don't want to fully... I don't want to get where you're telling me to get. That's That seems like a way far in there. I forget, I only have 600 points of shields. Uh, let me see something, cause, so, options, video, it was in video. Nope, it was in game, right? Advanced view by default. Let's see if, if that's what I think it is, I want to keep it. And, let's see. No. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could just have this alt thing constant, cause, yeah, alt does is, yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, whatever. And yeah, this is where all your ships would be if you had more than one. At your command. Uh, 
Okay. Burn retros. Oh, we even get a cool stealth light up thing. That's nice. Uh, it wants me fully in it, unfortunately. So we'll do that. Standard speed engaged. Engines engaged. Standard speed engaged. Underway. Oh, so it, I take damage through my shields. My shields don't negate any of the asteroid damage, which sucks. I just take straight damage. Okay. I guess shields are, you know, rocks are big. Shields don't really bump them around, but whatever. But I believe yes. Okay, emergency repairs. Nope, cancels all light, critical, and fire board effects for three turrets. And three turrets are repaired. Call to arms, all boarding damage to the ship is reduced. But ship speed is reduced by 15, weapon reload time is increased by 100. Mm-hmm. Stances and maneuvers are canceled and skills are frozen. Shield, hollow field, shadow field, spore field, regeneration, and battery disabled. Honor the chapter, Lord, so... Ooh. The Blackstone Fortress is almost upon us. Hold Cut the engines. Love. The closer it comes before we reveal ourselves, the greater our chances of success. Tis true. Tis true. Okay, stealth. Um... Too soon! We stand revealed! What? All power to engines, and let us hope it is the old father's will that we make it in time. We're invisible. We're stealthed. Oh, I guess we fired. Okay, whatever. All right. Let's get into this. That has a lot of health and a lot more troops, so that's great. All right, let me get out of here quick. Oh, boy, there's a lot of troops coming as well. All right. Uh, yeah. Standard speed engaged. Mmm, this is not good. Hold course. Standard speed engaged. Oh yeah, we're outnumbered a bit. Can these guys go through ships? Let's hope so. Or shields. Oh, it's not going well. It will be destroyed. Yeah. Like. Let's do, yeah, boarding on them and lightning on the other. Ooh, boy. I am not liking that Blackstone Fortress whatsoever. And it's not letting me use any skill, stance skills, which is frustrating, but whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ugh. Try and get rid of them. Initiate targeting protocol. And it wouldn't be Warhammer 40k if we didn't do some ramming here while our shield gets back up. So let's ram this Hulk. There we go. Yes. Very classic. Ramming is actually helpful in this game. So. Oh gosh, this is not going well for me whatsoever. Oh gosh. Obliterate that target. Oh, just light casualties. It's Feel all good. Since we're about to die, I guess it's all on the table to try and get something to happen. Lightning strike. So close, so close. Repositioning. Oh, come on, come on. That is impossible. Moving to position. Wow. Why can't I use lightning strike? Hmm. Oh, yeah. K 
can't use it if the shield's up. So, okay. This is going great. This is fine. It's totally fine. Let's try and get a normal boarding party on. It's it's fine. It's fine, gamers. There we go. That's, yep. I did what the game told me to do. It's all good. Nope. Okay. I don't know if that's how the prologue's supposed to go, but, uh, yeah. Sven Bloodhowl, stalwart of a brotherhood famed for their courage. But sometimes, courage is not enough. Initialization failed. Null array inert. Insufficient power. Insufficient power. Rerouting. Reroute failed. Power surge. Processing. No data. Power building. Why are the... Deploying. Necrons here. Okay. Great. Necrons are just here for some reason. Whatever. Okay. But the shield's up. That's all that matters, right? Not through the bravery of Sven Bloodhound, nor the labors of Magus Clan, but through the intercession of a mysterious benefactor. A Necron, <laughs> apparently. And the respite was short-lived. As the tears faded, traitor warships blackened the skies. The siege of Cadia Secundus had begun. The forces of the Despoiler came in numbers uncounted, but the walls of Cather Craft held. Even in that darkest of days, the flame of humanity's valor burned bright. With faith burning in their hearts, the defenders held the Chaos Hordes at bay, uncaring of the losses they bore in exchange. The flesh fails and faith flickers. With every bloody moment, Abaddon's forces drew closer to victory. Great. <laughs> really setting up the campaign, isn't it? The threat value shows the interest of all factions in each sector. The higher it is, the more likely a faction will be aggressive. Okay, I guess that's something else. Auto battle allows you... To okay, they, they do have an auto resolve. Interesting. This is a game, at least in the Battlefleet Gothic Armada 1, I would not want to ever auto resolve anything. Oh, Loading screens, it's always it's always the bitch of this game series. So I don't have a warning that it's crashed. So we'll we'll just let it go. Let's see if it see if it thinks its way through it. We need the location <laughs> of Abaddon's main fleet before we strike. Admiral, lead a reconnaissance patrol, BRIs. Gladly, Captain Carradin. We can't proceed until those defense platforms are destroyed. Okay. Gotta destroy. Okay, ship deployment using, yep, selected ships. Allows you to orient the selected ship, selecting multiple ships. Okay, what do I got here? Divine Eternity, Light Cruiser Defiant, Light Cruiser Defiant, and Dauntless Mark II. So Dauntless Mark II, what do you have on you, weapon-wise? You have torpedoes for sure, so you'll be separated from the other two. You'll be kind of your own division. Okay, fine. Oh, right click. And then these two boys, which... One of you is my flagship. So... Yeah, you two All kind of... Engage drives. Oh, okay. I used to be able to group these guys up. Okay, I, I'll click ready in a second. Ugh, annoyance. Okay, fine. Ship ready. Yes, I can group them. Okay. Can I group indi yeah, I can group individuals, so we wait your command. Rig our light cruisers for silent running. We'll let oh. our bombers handle this. We have bombers? Yeah, this is 
si running silent. Your orders? Okay, everybody running silent. Understood. Bring us into position, Captain. Ship ready. Okay. That's cool. Oh, I have to. Aye, so cool. everybody move up. Okay. Setting course. Okay, so the game's still kind of holding my hand a bit. Control groups. Yes, flagship. Don't lose your flagship or your morale is screwed. In most cases, several ships are selected. Yes, gas clouds. Okay. We Running serve. silent lets you stealth. But does this... No, you just have... You're, you're more of a I battler. Am. These guys, though, they have... Wept squadrons. Okay. Starhawk bombers to launch condition. Relaying target coordinates. Bombers. Squadron can only target enemy ships while moving. It appear it opens a fire on enemy squadrons and torpedoes once so on target it reduced targets <laughs> armored by twenty five percent. If not fully the restore destroyed the squadron returns to the ship and his skill load is recovered. Okay, so I have infinite uses if they survive. Let's go. I got two of these bad boys. Do they reach? About to find out. I guess I don't really see a range on them, so... Starhawks loaded yeah, and take set. those first. Oh, I got two, so yeah, fine. One and two. Starhawks loaded and sent. Finish this. All weapons fire at Squadron will. retreat. Okay. All right. This is cool. I don't think, yeah, in we one, your command. you did not have light cruisers with bomber squadrons, which is awesome. Enemy defense platform destroyed. Nice. Nice. Okay. So let's just do that again on the other one, and we'll be done. Skills that require you to select a target to launch together, but the target must be designated one after the other. Okay. Some skills like ordnance. Okay, we'll read that in a second. Oh uh, yeah, get back here so I can get my skills back. Skill. Some skills like ordnance, squadrons, or torpedoes have limited number of loads for each battle. So... Yeah, that one I don't recover. That one I do. So we're not gonna try that. We're just gonna do this too, and Starhawks make sure that make sure it's destroyed. Overkill, but I do not care. We serve. We wait your command. Heading acknowledged. Aye, Admiral. Enemy defense platform destroyed. Perfect. Perfect. And okay, they're already coming back, so we're good. So they had time to call for reinforcements. Prepare to engage. None shall escape. None. Sorry, Mike Bump. Limited loads, some skills like ordnance, squads, torpedoes. Yep, okay, thank you. But if they return, I get it back, but I only have two. So if two get knocked out, I'm s yeah, it's basically a normal light -like cruiser at that point. With it's got it's got Nope. What do you have? You just have turrets. You have turrets. That's all you have. Turrets and bombers. Okay. Oh, gosh. What do we shoot? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Target locked in. We should evaluate the situation. We cannot risk a foolhardy engagement. First, we'll grant all ship's captains full autonomy to maneuver. That's cool, whatever Engaging. that means. All right, let's get some torpedoes going. Acquiring new vector. Torpedoes, melted torpedoes will save the meltas. All right, let's see if I remember the travel speed of this shit correctly. Execute high energy turn. Probably not. It's all good. Cruising speed set. Oh, okay. So no, I want to pause then. I can't pause? Okay, fine. Uh, you guys... What are your turrets ranges? I can't see your turret ranges, so... What does this do? Auto engagement mode. Okay. Okay. And two... Aye, Admiral. Yeah, auto engagement mode. Now, One. Designate priority target. 
priority tar- Okay, yeah. This is- and you can tell him what's a target on the ship, Finally, so like, we'll yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Yep. And you can do this for every ship. Yeah, standards three and engines. Because I hate having to deal with engines running off. Um. Ship ready. Your orders? Enemy ship crippled by the lightning strike. Let's see if we can fully get rid of them. Lightning strike successful. Engaging target. Targeting enemy vessel. We wait your command. Oh, you've lost your shield, so brace, brace for impact. For impact. You guys, yep. Yep, that's what I want. Okay. We serve. Acquiring new vector. Oh, that's too much. Execute high energy turn. Hope that takes them out. Target locked in. You two. Okay, cool. I can do this. I love doing this. Yep. Just switching my sides. Yep. Ship ready. Awesome. Acquiring new vector. Destroyed systems. Okay. Aye, Admiral. Oh, I can. Uh, let me save those bombers Ship though. Ready. Because I can next thing that yep attacks me I can use okay. Execute high energy turn. Uh, can I? Nope. Okay. Aye, Admiral. Assault crews report success. Engaging. This is going great. <laughs> Uh, this game is exactly what I was hoping for, and even better, I think. We wait your command. Your orders? Enemy ship crippled by the lightning strike. Going totally fine. Although, what am I even fighting? Light cruisers? Yep, light cruisers, so... Totally fair fight, I'm sure. Yes, if you... Yep, critical damage. Heavily, yep. Okay. Your orders? Engaging target. Alright, regroup. Course engaged. Additional traitors on all specs. Mm. All vessels regroup. Damn traitors. We serve. Admiral, the crew are revolting. A mutiny is underway. Where? Your excuses do not concern me, Captain. Crush the mutineers and bring your ship into the fight. Am I understood? Yep, yep, mutinies. Just gotta, you know, execute them. My lord, the mutiny has been contained. Morale is ebbing, but we stand ready to fight. At last. Now, seize this precious chance at redemption. For you and for your crew. Duty and death await. Now... Can I? Okay. Shark assault boats on their way. Ship ready. Ah, oh, shucks. Acknowledged. They're small fries. Engaging engines. We wait your command. Lock on target. Changing course. Okay. Execute high energy turn. Oh, only took some of that damage. For the Emperor. Acquiring new vector.
We serve. Mm. Ship ready. Acquiring new vector. Yeah. Very important. Your orders. Oh, yeah. You... I'm not looking too great on that shield, but that's fine. I want to go. Yep, this way. Execute high energy turn. All right. Let's Reporting actually. No. Send out some bombers. Our have caused internal damage. Acquiring new vector. Doing pretty good. I, Admiral. For the Emperor. Ship ready. Oh, I could use rally too. That's cool. Targeting enemy vessel. I admiral. Should be dead quickly. Yeah, there we go. We serve. More chaos vessels inbound. Oh, of course. If failure is to be my fate, I'll face it with the Emperor's light in my eyes. This is Admiral Harbride to all vessels. We fight to the death. Shark assault boats on their way. We serve. Oh gosh, yeah, we're getting... Getting messy in here, aren't we? Execute high energy turn. Should do something, and let me get you out of there. We wait your command. Shields are almost out, so. We wait your command. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, wait, no. You can slow down. Ship ready. Course engaged. All ahead, full. Acquiring new vector. Your orders. Get out of there, because they're about to ram me, probably. I am. Um. Coordinates acknowledged. Acquiring new vector. Target locked in. Not doing too horrible. <laughs> what are we, light cruisers taking on cr one cruiser and... Mark. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just focus on the one cruiser. It's ah. fine, gamers. It's fine. We're taking care of it. Reporting successful boarding action. Engaging target. Admiral. <laughs> oh, shit. This would appear to be the main fleet. All specs readings confirm the presence of a Blackstone fortress. Signal the phalanx. Our mission ends in success, but our duty abides. Our borders have caused internal damage. Okay, hold on until reinforcement arrival. Focus fire on their enemies' weapons. Flagship must not be destroyed. That'll go well. We I'm sure. Okay. In that Engaging case... Engines. If flagship can't be destroyed... Starhawks loaded and sent. Then I've got one mission, which is not to let my ship get destroyed. Execute high energy turn. Underway. You good luck you. Ship ready. You two need to really get in that cloud Heading if you can. Acknowledged. Underway. 
Maximum burn. Lock on. Lock on target. We serve. What's this do? Oh, transfer troops. Okay. Understood. Incoming oh, cool. Transmission from Phalanx. You've done your part, Admiral. I hereby take command of this engagement. Fuck we'll yes. Give that Blackstone Fortress an opponent worthy of its size. Oh yeah. There we go. There's the real Imperial Navy. <laughs> 49 troops. Okay. We serve. Uh you two what is our status? Estimates are still formulating, but we confirm the Sanctus Malefic, the Apocalyptia, the Vengeful Spirit. Emperor, shield us, but we're staring at half of the Black Fleet. Maybe more. Understood. And Cadia itself? Preliminary scans and Vox Chatter confirm fighting on all continents. The greatest concentration appears to be at Casa Kraf on Cadia Secundus. The Herald of Absolution is inbound with our Adeptus Sororitas allies. Good. Remind all Storm Talon squadrons that Celestine must make planet for. All other concerns are secondary. Confirmed. Captain, there's a Blackstone Fortress in near orbit. Tentatively identified as the Will of Eternity. Vox Chatter confirms the Fire Main's Fang has already failed to bring it to ruin. Indeed, a rare failure from the Sons of Roos. The so-called Saint was correct. These are dark days indeed. Your orders? As they always are in dark days, Commodore. We bring the Emperor's fire and burn away the darkness. Prepare for battle. Nice. Setting course. Oh no. How are you? Do You're not doing well, are you? Changing okay. Course. And it won't let me warp you out, which is unfortunate. Vanguard vessels closing fast. Brittle foes to be crushed beneath the phalanx's good right arm, Commodore. From their vector, they don't intend to duel with our guns, but to ram us. We must brace for impact. Sound collision alarms. All hands, brace for impact. Ship ready. Do you? Oh, he does have special commands. Yep, brace for impact. Oh my god, I love this ship. Well, what what is it actually called? Phalanx. Okay. Starhawks loaded and set. We wait your command. Squadron sent enemy allies ships. Almost in weapons range. Acknowledged. All crews to battle stations. Hold this course. All ahead full. Take us down into its black craw. All ahead full. Aye. It seems we have their attention. Additional vessels closing on intercept course. They're closing too swiftly to evade. Let the fleas bite. The phalanx's hide is thick. Too thick for their teeth. Hold main batteries for my order. Oh man, you survived up there? Okay. I'm fine with it, but I'm surprised. Alright, focus weapons, enemy ship's weaponry, of course. Let's have Main a yeah. fire. Okay. Yes, weaponry. Number one. We wait your command. Nice mutiny on them. Alright. Can you yeah, let me let's get him lined up for the Blackstone. Yes, brace for impact, all full ahead. This is this game's very much in the same vein as the original game, which I'm even glad to see. Just have you chill out over Your there. Orders. And you can actually lock, lock on. Target. Heading acknowledged. Changing course. Fury interceptors in flight. Get us a boarding party going. Initiate 
targeting protocol. <laughs> oh man. I wonder if you can get this in your normal um in the normal campaign if you can get that this bad boy phalanx into your ship. Uh not ship, into your fleet. That that's it. We serve. I Admiral. Turn your auto engagement off. We serve. For the Emperor. This should be fine. Fury interceptors in flight. It's gonna be totally fine, I'm sure. Can I? Nope, I can't. Okay. Looks like this thing's just covered in macro cannons, I guess. Man, that Blackstone Fortress not giving me a ton of, ton of a, you know, fun. But technically, we have the numbers. Hopefully, no, stop that. Torpedoes, yes. Oh gosh. We'll flay that abomination an inch at a time if we must. At your order. Victory or death. Ship ready. Victory or death, y'all. Always the same with the Imperium. Okay, why not? Let's try a good old ramming maneuver. There we go. Bite deep. It's our turn now. Main batteries, open fire. Send that cursed hope to hell. The Blackstone Fortress is coming apart. We're too close. If its reactors go critical, the phalanx will be caught in the blast. The sons of Dawn are too stubborn to die. Why should his regal daughter prove different? Gaze on the Blackstone Fortress's death, Commodore. Gaze. And rejoice for service fulfilled. Those are different. They don't look like Imperial ships. Well, I mean, okay. I'll shut up during the cutscene. <laughs> but they're definitely uh, part of the Empire. Magos, your reputation precedes you, but you choose a bleak time to come to Cadia. Bleaker than you know. My adepts uncovered pylons on Arian 6. They are a perfect match for those present on Cadia, but were reduced to null during the Fourth Black Crusade. Abaddon. His malice holds greater purpose than we knew. Agreed. Ruined pylon fields have been discovered on many worlds, all unmade by the Despoiler. Why? Their heritage is alien, their purpose unknown. The pylons' forges remain shrouded, known only to the Omnissiah, but their purpose is revealed. They contain the Eye of Terror. If they are destroyed, the Immaterium will claim all. The Imperium will be no more. The pylons must be safeguarded. They are our only weapon against the encroachment of chaos. But I need time to study. Go. Make your studies. May the Emperor guide you. Pylons, y'all. We gotta build and protect the pylons. And those are some ridiculous pylons, for sure. Damn Necrons again. I prefer 
honored guest. <laughs> but abomination or not, you and I have common cause. Logic dictates otherwise. Then you don't seek to understand the nature of this matrix. You comprehend its secrets? I was there when they first awakened. Or perhaps I wasn't. Memory is such a fickle thing. Hmm? Neither of us desires to see this galaxy ripped asunder by the Imperial ones. Destroy me if you wish. Nothing will change. For me. For you. For this world. Show me. Okay. Each ship has a specific number of troops. Once a ship has no more troops left, it becomes a drifting hulk and can no longer be used until there are friendly troops aboard. <laughs> loading screens, man. Uh, it's running fine. Running fine. Other than loading screens. But, like I said, that was a problem in the original Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Admiral, this is madness. Entering real space so close to a planet, you'll doom us all. A good officer commands without doubt and obeys without question. Entering real space in three, two, one. This is how they connect the old game and the current game. Okay. Blessed Emperor, we're in the heart of the fight. This is Admiral Catalia to Battlegroup Silver Dawn. Form up. Incoming enemy squadrons! Race for impact! Some OP squadrons. We've lost the purity blade! Silver Dawn to Cadian High Command. Where do you need us? This battle is lost! We must disengage! Coward! Commissar! Do your duty! As the Emperor wills! <laughs> Incoming transmission! Phalanx to Silver Dawn. This is Commodore Shalot. Situation critical. Chaos forces have launched a full-scale planet strike. They aim to destroy the pylons of the Elysian fields. They must not succeed. Reinforce the position. The Phalanx will cover your back. Remain vigilant. We have reports that the despoiler leads the assault. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. Silver Dawn, this is the Admiral. All ahead full. Those next readings indicate unusual energy signatures at the Elysium fields. Explain. I need more. By that, the Emperor. That's On fine. Size, Grace. This is beyond my experience. Analyzing. Hurry. What are we looking at? Analyzing complete. The pylons. The energy beam is repelling the eye of terror. How is that possible? No matter. Our duty remains. Prepare for planet strike. Incoming transmission. It's the phalanx. The despoiler has retreated to the vengeful spirit to lick his wounds. We cannot let this opportunity slip away. All vessels, engage the vengeful spirit. For the salvation of mankind and vengeance long due, we will destroy this abomination once and for all. This is Admiral Catalia to Battlegroup Silver Dawn. We have our orders, and we're closer than anyone else. Today, the Arch Traitor dies at our hands. Divert all power to weapons. Load torpedoes. We are the Emperor's fury. We shall not fail. Vengeful spirit is firing. Oh gosh. Sustaining hull damage. Structural breaches on all decks. No! No! Weapon system critical. Reactor critical. Fires reported on all decks. We are heavily damaged. Estimated crew loss 65,000. The vengeful spirit intercepted our torpedoes. No significant damage. What? What have I done? My pride. My arrogance. A 
additional chaos vessels inbound? Very well. If that is how this ends, if we are to die, let it be with the Emperor's light in our eyes and his fury in our voice. We fight on! All hands! One last effort before they overwhelm us! Make this count! Solid. Took out one ship. Admiral, the enemy are leading away. No. You must be mistaken. Confirmed. They are moving towards the wreckage of the Blackstone Fortress. What? What are they doing? Vox officer, transmit a wideband message to all forces on Cadia. Tell them to evacuate the planet. Now! Ah, chaos forces. They're insane. <laughs> okay. So that was the prologue. Awesome. isn't totally useless okay so prologue solid prologue i give him that uh this video is going a bit long though <laughs> uh i will probably i will i will definitely play this game more i will definitely hope hopefully make some more videos on it in which we can see the rest of the campaign and oh my i i'm i'm impressed you get three campaigns for free wonder how they all stack up to each other but whatever um and of course difficulties we were playing on easy <laughs> This game, it can be very, uh, rather hard, rather difficult. I assume that was easy. It might have been medium. Yeah, I don't know. But different difficulties and... Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, I didn't know they had this. So you can... You can change all that. That's... that. This is nice to see. This is nice to see. Yeah, okay. That's, that's interesting. I like to see that. So you can have a campaign... Go totally off the walls bonkers if you want to in customizing your... Yeah, warning, modifying these options may completely change the game experience during the campaigns and cause major unbalances. We strongly advise playing normally during your first campaign. Also, a custom difficulty will now allow... Will, will now allow you to unlock the Steam achievements related campaign. I, I, believe, I believe they meant to say, also, a custom difficulty will not allow you, but... My, typo! Come on, typo in a game that's been out for a while. Uh, it's fine. I'm sure they'll update it. So, that's my first impression. Look, looks good. I feel like the pro prologue definitely relied heavily on cutscenes, but if I, I think the Battlefleet Gothic Armada, the first one, did that as well in their little beginning of the game. So, maybe less cutscenes, or maybe they're going more into the RPG-ness of being an Armada commander in Warhammer 40,000. Yeah, I'm going to leave it right here. Looks great. Uh, looking forward to playing more of it. Um, but thank you for watching. Feel free to do all this stuff. I have been a formal bust. As always, take care and drink some H2O.